What's going on out there in YouTube land? Uh, check it back in. It's uh, July the 21st. Basically, I'm just trying to give y'all a little update of what's going on with me. Trying, trying to find a little better spot with some light. And we're going to go with... I'm going to go with this. So, uh, yeah, just giving y'all a little brief information of what's going on with me. I talked to my recruiter today, and she basically told me that with the security company that I work for, they do what's called e-verification. And uh, with that, she basically told me that whenever you, before you leave, they uh, verify your information. And then once you get down at the Spring Springfield, Missouri, they verify your information again. She told me if I could send her a copy of my pay stub, it would show, it would make the process go along a little bit faster so they won't have to do the e-verification thing. So I'm actually about to email her that in a few minutes. Um, and I'm glad she kind of told me that. Uh, another thing I took upon myself is I printed out my resume and wrote down like all the contact information for us, like the managers, the contact, the telephone numbers, and the address. That way if I get down to Springfield and they have an issue or concern, I can look at that paper and go ahead and give them the information instead of me have to pull my phone out and Google this stuff or go find a computer to use or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I figured it would be a whole lot faster. The information may help somebody, it may not, but you know, I just decided I'll tell you guys. Um, also, too, um, I just recently came from Walmart. I've been packing up like all day. I had way more clothes than I spent. Uh, this a hat I got on, too, guys, so this ain't like a crazy afro. But um, I had way more clothes than I spent, so I've been packing like all day. So I left, went to Walmart to give me like a little break from packing up so much. And um, I actually picked up a few things and I want to you know, kind of tell y'all what I ended up getting. Got or whatever. So uh, one of the things I ended up picking up was a travel size pillow. I got a little travel size pillow. It's going to be a long ride on the bus from South Carolina to Springfield. So I got a little travel size pillow. I got a huge thing of like uh, Germans for when I'm on the bus. I mean, on the bus and when I'm in the truck, you know, I can use that to clean my hands and stuff with. Also got uh, baby wipes or whatever. Got like a pack, a big pack of those. Um, I do have ways, which I usually have a hat on most of the time. So why I got ways, don't ask me. But uh, I got ways, so I did pick up like more stocking caps and do rags. Um, tell you guys, I got a lawn care company, and I usually be out in the heat checking up on my guys are actually out there doing work. And I noticed with me doing the lawn care stuff, like the wave builder stuff works like great, especially if you're out like in the sun and stuff. So I went and picked up like the stocking caps and some more do-rays or whatever, and like a little dome cap or whatever to keep pressure on my hair. I may try to make videos about trying to keep waves while you're on the road. I don't know how this gonna work. I'm gonna try to do it, but I don't know. Like I said, I usually wear a hat, so it won't really matter. But um, my hairline or nothing ain't messed up or whatever. I just usually wear a hat. Um, I'm from the country. You probably can tell by the way I talk. But um, I ain't from around here. <laughs> but uh, also too, uh, what's that? Picked up Germans. Oh, uh, about um, a whole bunch of socks, a whole bunch of underwear. Um, I'm looking at the stuff now, so that's why I keep holding my head down. Uh, I picked up some regular vitamins and I picked up some B12 vitamins. Um, if you do research on B12, B12 uh, actually supposed to give you like energy and stuff. And I figure I'm gonna need it out on the road. So I got B12 vitamins and regular vitamins. Um, one of the things I think I shouldn't have bought right now, but I already bought it, so it's kind of too late. I picked up some work gloves. And the reason I bought those is, uh, I do, you know, I do the farm and the lawn care. And uh, I figured if I was trying to, you know, fuel up the truck, I didn't want to get diesel fuel on my hand and got the smell of diesel fuel. Most people know if you get like gas on your hand, the smell just don't come straight off. So I'd rather be on, be on the gloves and I could take the gloves and throw them in like a Ziploc bag or whatever instead of having the smell on my hand. Um, so I did pick up some work gloves, which I probably should have waited till I got down there to get them, but I already purchased them now, so it's too late. And this is one of the things I think is probably like really good. I am taking like wash off uh, cloths or whatever and like drive towels with me, but I did pick these up. I have uh, three sisters or whatever, and I found out about these from them you know, years ago, and when I went to Walmart today, I specifically went looking for them. They're called uh, Body Benefits, I hope you can see, yeah, Body Benefits Exfoliating Bath Gloves. I got a pair, you can't really tell, but they're green, and this one right here is blue, if I could tell it better now. They had like pink and white and all, all this other stuff. They're actually in the female department, 
but uh, I picked them up, and the reason why I got them uh, on the back of it, they're made out of 100% nylon. Uh, nylon will dry a whole lot faster than cotton wheel, so I figured that would cut down like on a mildew smell or whatever. And then two, like I said, I, I think they'll dry faster than a cotton towel wheel. I don't know for sure. I'm just me making an assumption. I don't know. Um, so I figured that. You know, that'll help me out or whatever. I had a mildew smell in my truck or, you know, my trainer's truck. And then, too, like I said, they uh, should drive a whole lot faster. I could take them and throw them in a uh, Ziploc bag or something like that. Leave the bag kind of crack, let them dry like that or whatever. But um, we'll see how that works. But uh, I bought two pair of them or whatever. Like I said, I am still taking towels or whatever. But um, that was something I, I purchased. I figured it was going to help out. I got soap and... Uh, like other toiletries and stuff already here, so I didn't really get a lot of that. But I did buy um, a thing of soap. Um, also, too, like I said, basically I just been packing up all day. I took the trip to Walmart to kind of give me a little break. So um, I'm basically about to get back to packing again. Also, too, I'm helping my cousin uh, move into her new place. I'm about to go over there in a little while and help her set up some uh, stuff at her new place. But um, basically, the rest of the day I'm gonna be packing. I still haven't got my birth certificate. Uh, I got a birth certificate, but the one I have is laminated. When you take one down there, it can't be laminated. Your social security card can't be laminated also, but my social security card isn't laminated, so I just got to pick up my birth certificate. Um, I still have uh, farming and lawn care equipment. I need to get back home. Uh, and also, I still have to get my vehicles back. I drove my truck home the other day to take the stuff back home, the uh, lawn care and farming things back home. And uh, of course, I had to drive it back to get me away back, back up here. But in probably the next week or so, I'm gonna get my sister to drive down with me and follow me or whatever, so I could drop one of the vehicles off and come on back and uh, you know try to do that thing or whatever. So basically, that's where I'm at for right now. Um, I ain't really got too much more stuff to say. The video like seven minutes long already, so ain't too much more I really got to go and tell you. Uh, but like I said, yeah, I'm about, basically the rest of the day I'm gonna be packing up. I'm gonna come up with a game plan for what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Uh, hoping to go ahead and pick up my birth certificate tomorrow and uh, maybe carry some stuff back home. I uh, want to go home and see some people before I go on the road, because I know I'm going to be gone for you know quite some time. So I'm um, thinking about going ahead and riding back home tomorrow. So I may load, load up the truck again and take some stuff on my own, on back home. But uh, I'm going to think about that tonight and go from there. So uh, like I said, that's all I really got to say about the sign off or whatever. So wish y'all the look, good, best of luck, and hopefully you got some good information from this. If not, like I said in the previous video, or maybe the previous two videos or whatever, uh, check out them other guys. Check out their pages. They give great information. And uh, wish y'all the best of luck. And keep me in your prayers.